Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Yvonne. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little desk update slash makeup vanity update because I uploaded a beauty room slash office update a few videos back. And since then, I've changed out my desk and the way I have my makeup organized is different now. So I just wanted to share with you guys how I have it now. I really love the way my desk is now. Um, it's a lot different than I originally said I wanted my desk to be, but I'm happy with how it is. I still need a few more things, you know, just to make it a little bit more me, a little bit more cozy. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I have. All right, so this is what the desk looks like. It's a lot bigger, a lot longer than my old desk. Um, and I wanted a bigger desk because I do have a monitor now. And the other desk was way too small for it. It was everything was just crowded on there. And I did mention before that I wanted a new desk. Um, in the other video, I did mention that I wanted to get another set of drawers and then get the tabletop from IKEA. I ended up going a different route and I am obsessed with how my desk is now. This is a standing desk. It has the ability to like go up and down, um, which is right here. And I love it because you can set the different heights. Um, and it also has a little up and down arrow so you can find like get it to the perfect height that you need um, For me, I keep it at one when it's like when I'm sitting down and I have the number two set for my height like when I'm standing um, and I love it because I get tired of sitting down all the time Especially when I'm like on my computer editing or just messing around with my Cricut So this is perfect and then it does allow me to just like, you know, stand up um, So that's that and then I do have this very uncomfortable plastic chair because I have not decided on a new chair. This one is originally from Ikea. Um, it's one of their cheapest chairs. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of over it just because it's uncomfortable. And down there, I just have a foot pillow and it's a memory foam pillow. And I love that foam pillow. I just got it yesterday um, because when I'm sitting down, it elevates my feet and it also helps my posture better so it keeps me from like leaning forward or from crossing my legs or from just sitting weird um which is why i really wanted it and it's so comfortable i really recommend it um so moving on to the desk tour so the desk has this wooden tabletop and this wooden tabletop my fiance made for me um he just bought the planks from Lowe's put it together he sanded it down it's like super soft and then he did put a clear um clear coat on it just to kind of protect it from any drinks I might have or just anything in general just to protect the wood and I wanted it to be this light color um the reason I, we went with that um was because when I was looking at desks I was looking at those like desks you know like this that have the ability to you know be a standing desk or a, you know go up and down um, and a lot of the things that I was seeing on desks that came with the tabletop was that the tabletop came Would come chipped or just wouldn't align properly and so I didn't want to take that risk So we just ordered the legs by themselves and then my fiance just put together the tabletop and I love it It's very sturdy love the color. It's what I wanted and then I did buy this mat just to protect the desk a little bit more um and then I do have my little wireless keyboard here along with the matching mouse for my laptop and computer for my monitor. But I wanted it, I went with the sage green because I'm obsessed with that color right now. Same with the pink. Like I just love how these two colors look together. But this is, um, I think it's a 31 by 15 um, desk mat and it does have like the cork underneath. And then, so that's like, this is what it looks like and I love it. It just, you know, like I said, protects the desk a little bit better. And then I do have my little coaster right here um, for my drink so it doesn't leave any rings on it or anything. Um, and then over here, I just have a little thrifted laptop stand or monitor stand and I painted it white. Have my laptop on it and then it's connected to the monitor. And I love using the monitor when I'm like editing or just working on my computer in general. Um, and I do have my little... And then underneath the monitor, I have my little glasses and I just have a random sheet of stickers that I need to cut out. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this. Like if I just press one, it goes back down to the height that I have it set for when I'm sitting down. So that's the whole desk situation. And then I do have this little basket here that just has random stuff in there. And then my little pop socket just flew off. And I like having the desk like this because I am a short person. 
very short person so this is like the perfect height for me it's like very small um and it also lines up perfectly with the dresser and then i do have my cricket over here which i've been messing with a lot lately and i'm i've been loving it i've been making like just a whole bunch of random things just practicing getting used to it um literally i've been like putting vinyl on everything like all my cups and stuff and just making random fun things but anywho so this is where i have it and so i could like set the mat right here the cricket mat to help protect the desk while i'm working on that um and it's like it just allows me to have a big workspace anywho so moving on to here is where i have my makeup all right and when i was cleaning out my old desk um i was taking out the makeup and just placing it on top of the old desk and i kind of got overwhelmed because i'm like this is a lot and i still had to clean out some of these drawers on the alex drawer set um so I can organize my makeup in there. Um, but I ended up using three drawers from this set, from this drawer set, whatever you wanna call it, um, with four makeup. And so I'm just gonna show you guys how I have it organized. And, and I've been liking the way it's organized because it allows me to see everything that I do have. And then I tell myself, okay, haven't used this product, I need to use it. And if I haven't used it in a while, then I'm like, okay, this is something I need to toss out. So it allows me to see everything that I do have um i have everything more organized i guess i don't know i don't know how to describe it but i just like the way it looks and the way it's organized so i'm just going to share it with you guys so in the top drop in the top drawer is where i have like most of my face products so i have like my brushes these are like mostly eye brushes just because they're smaller and i keep them in here my sponges some tools um some face mist a primer that i have in here some hand sanitizer and then back here is where i have like the face products like the tints the sunscreens the concealers in there and there's like the hairpin random hairpin in there and there's a mascara in here that needs to go over here um and over here is where i have like the eyebrow stuff mascaras eyeliner um eyebrow pencils and then and these little containers are from target but i just like the way it's organized and then right here is where all my jewelry is and then in this one is where i have all the palettes so in this first container that i have right here i have like my little blotting papers some small compacts like pressing powder um eyeshadow little eye primer palette by makeup by mario bronzer and then back here i have some of like my makeup palettes eyeshadow palettes that i don't use anymore but i can't bring myself to throw them away because these were some of like the higher end makeup that i first bought myself um and i thought that was like you know like something big at way back when so I'm, i keep these just you know part of my makeup collection just because they kind of have a little bit of sentimental value to them um but other than that i really haven't bought myself any eyeshadow palettes because i don't use a lot of eyeshadow before as before um but and i mean the newest one was the is this but and maybe this one but other than that i really don't have any big palettes like this anymore that i constantly use i mean i don't use these anymore but that's where i have these right here in the end um same with this one this one i don't use these two right here i don't really don't use anymore um but this is where they are and this is one of the deeper drawers so this drawer is perfect for these palettes and then this one is also a deeper drawer this is where i have the rest of my stuff so in this little basket in here is where i have like some contour sticks highlights this highlights really good i really like it um some more highlight sticks what is this bronzer highlights and like a little bit of blush um over here right here which i still need to get a little container for but these are some of like the bigger face brushes and yes the one's a little bit dirty um this is where i keep them and then right here are like all the blush products um i mean cream products like blushes highlights uh, some concealer back there some um lip tints um uh, random highlight it's a powder highlight and then this ilia multi what is it multi-use pigment and then this big old giant face mist or setting spray. I keep it in here because it doesn't really fit in the drawer on top. And it's also kind of bulky, so I just keep it here. More blushes. This brand, Rose Ink, I love it. I really love the concealer from it and this blush. Um, and they just came out with the face tint, which I've 
I'm tempted to buy. I mean, I don't need any more face tints, but I'm tempted to try it out just because it looks so cool. Anywho, so in this basket where I, where I have lip products that I didn't know where else to put, I have like a giant lip gloss, lip balms, lip tints, lip pencils, random super glue. And then in this little lipstick holder is where I have some of my lipsticks, where the only lipsticks I do have, like lip tints. These are lip tints. This one's old. I don't use it anymore, but I like the packaging, so which is why I haven't really thrown it out. Same with this one. And then I have like my more lip oils, lip balms. I really don't have that many lipsticks now that I think about it. Um, they're more, and this is like maybe like the only kind of lipstick, but it is a lip treatment, so. Um, but yeah, this is where I have like all my makeup now. And this is just a drawer with random papers. So that was my quick desk and makeup situation tour. Um, I, I guess it's not really a makeup vanity anymore since everything is in like a drawer. And then when I do my makeup, I just kind of sit in front of the mirror that's um, right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Um, that's where I usually sit in front of or I sit in front of the window to do my makeup um, so I can get that natural light um, which is fine I have, it's not bugging me or anything I really don't need like an actual makeup vanity now which is fine I like it it's more simple and I just like sitting on the floor and like either listening to a podcast or watching like a quick little YouTube video while I'm getting ready this is how my desk is now and I love it. I'm obsessed. I still need to get a few more things. You know, I want to get like a little monitor stand for my monitor and maybe add like a few prints or pictures right above it or maybe like a shelf or two just to make it cute and cozy. Um, definitely want to get a new chair, which I haven't decided yet on which chair. Be just because like comfy office chairs are expensive. Um, so I'm still deciding on that. So other than that, I'm going to link everything down below in case you're interested or, you know, you're looking for new ideas or anything. I'm just going to link it down below. So that was everything for today's video. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my little YouTube familia, what are you waiting for? I would love for you to join my little family, my little familia. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.